Hi guys, we all were little at one point and in growing up we had parents that worried about us. Oh, okay, the health, uh, the company we were keeping, are we getting the right education? What's happening to us? What's going on in our life? Are we going to grow up to be very productive people? People of society that stays out of trouble, hopefully, right? Right, okay. And I understand in growing up that a lot of times we look at our parents and thought, listen, why are you worrying so much? Stop being a worry wart. Why do you have all this fear? I, in turn, started to have those fears when I became a parent. I worried about everything. My son, he was two at the time, and he learned, he was learning how to ride his bike. He mastered it without, you know, he took off the training wheels fine. And at this point, I would go outside with him with a book. I'd sit down and I'd read, and basically I told him, look, you stay to this side where I am on this sidewalk. We lived in an apartment complex, and, you know, there was a large parking lot, and he was okay with it. As he got older, he didn't want to stay on the sidewalk with me or by me anymore. He wanted to cross the parking lot, and he wanted to go to the other sidewalks. Now, I had two thoughts running through my mind. No, not simultaneously, consecutively. It was, okay, look. If you're going to get froggy, I'm going to go inside. You're going to go inside. We're going to stay inside. And you coming outside will be limited. And the other option, just show him how to navigate around the parking lot, how to avoid the other little kids riding their bikes, the other people walking around, and the cars that were coming in and out of the parking lot. I decided to show him to navigate the parking lot. Fine. What is fear? Why did I have all that fear? Fear has a basic component to it, and that is excitement. Now, when you have excitement and you funnel it through a non-preferred scenario, when you attach a negative judgment to it, when you attach a negative scenario to it, it becomes fear and anxiety. Now, when you don't attach the negative judgment, when you don't attach the negative scenario, it is just plain excitement. Case in point, let's say I won the lottery i am so excited i oh i am so ecstatic that means that i i have all this money that means that i have freedom i have divorced time from my money i don't have to go to a job i don't have to work because i have money to pay my bills i have money to travel i have money to do all the things that i say that i've wanted to do i can donate to my favorite charity that is excitement naked excitement it has a positive scenario, a positive judgment, a positive, just positivity attached to it. All right, let's take the same fact that I won the lottery and uh, I'm excited, but I have this money. That means my relatives are going to come looking for me and expect me to pay for stuff. Now, how much taxes I'm going to have to pay on this money? Now, suppose people know I have this money and I get robbed. Suppose I put my money in the bank and somebody robs it internally in the bank. That is excitement with a non-preferred. I don't prefer that scenario, but I've attached it to the excitement. So now I have turned my excitement. I have used my excitement. I am riding the excitement. I am leveraging the excitement to build something that doesn't serve me. That's what fear is. Fear is excitement plus a negative judgment plus a negative scenario or any negative stuff attached to it. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Now, what do you do with that? You got choices. Who is the scenario creator? You are. So we have to decide the scenario that we're going to attach to excitement. All right, guys, in finding value, please like, share, comment, click the link on over to snatchingmydreamsback.com for further discussion. And before I go say it with me, I endeavor to snatch my dreams back and live it. Peace.